So the weather's kind of crap out today. Uh, not a great day to work, be outside working with axes. So instead I thought I'd catch up on some reading. And since I'm still waiting for Winds of Winter to come out. That is total bullshit. George R.R. R. Martin was supposed to deliver the Winds of Winter to his publisher over two years ago. I thought I'd read a, a book about axes. Specifically American Axe by Brett McLeod. Now this book was published in 2020. Um, and it's actually a pretty good book. I enjoyed it. I'm going to go over the book. Just give a broad review. Go over some of its strengths, some of its weaknesses, and then finish up with a recommendation. So this review is brought to you by the letter A. A is for Axe, and for Aviation Gin. And American Gin is still at an epicenter of vlogging, Oregon. The first thing I can say about this book is it's clearly an act of love. Um, the author, Brett McLeod, is a professor of forestry at Paul Smith College and a former lumberjack. And a lot of the photographs in the book are actually from his own collection. And these are amazing photographs. They're, they jump off the page. If you have a friend who's just starting to get interested in axes or is on the bench, this is a great book to show them because I, I can't get over it. I just, they're wonderful. I, I mean, there's some classic patterns in there, there's some classic brands in there, and there's photos of them all. Um, the book starts with prehistory, it goes through Otzi and Stone Axes from Stone Age, obviously, uh, all the way through the 1950s, 1960s, and into modern axes. Um, again, with the title, mostly focusing on the American axe. It also looks at the history of logging, and the history of the early pioneers and how they would use axes. So it goes into the ads, the hewing axe, carving axes, etc. There's also some great information on this book about uh, lumberjack games um, and games that you can play with axes, which sounds kind of silly, but you know, uh, more like axe throwing or different competitions that lumberjacks would do when logging with axes was a thing. Um, so that was kind of cool to learn about, and there's some stuff in there that I'd like to try. So yeah, for strengths, I'd say the photographs, the images, and there's still a lot of good information in there. Um, I had never heard of the Spiller Axe before, um, and now that I've heard of it, I kind of want to look for one. Now for the weaknesses. I think I went into this book with higher expectations than were reasonable. The book's 192 pages. And it's marketed as a coffee table book. If you look at the Vickers guides, they are visually amazing books, but they're also amazing sources of information. And while there was a lot of information in this book, I was left wanting in some areas. For instance, uh, for a book called American Axes, there are only about a couple, three or four pages in the chapter called American Axe Pattern. He talks about how there's roughly 300 patterns and some of them were similar and some of them were different. But I was expecting more. I was expecting maybe a look into the history of some of the more iconic axe patterns like the Connie or the Michigan pattern or the Dayton or the Jersey. And I could go on. Um, he kind of glosses over the addition of the pole to the American axe. And I would have liked some more exploration of that. And then he talks about the shortening of the bit on the American axe and says some long lines of the European axes had these wide bits that were great for battle but weren't really suitable for chopping for chopping trees or I believe it's um, applying maximum force to, to chop down a tree. And that just didn't seem right based upon the very little that I know on the types of axes that European settlers brought to the Americas. And maybe that's a lot to ask out of a book that's marketed as a coffee table book, but I've, I always left one thing. I'd say if you're looking for a coffee table book or you're looking for a book for a beginner, someone who's just starting to get into axes, this is a great book. Uh, like I said, the photographs are beautiful. There's a lot of good information in there. And if you're just starting to get into axes, 
you have to spend a fair amount of time on the internet or talking to people or in the library to find that information. If you've been interested in Axis for a while and you're familiar with, say, the difference between a flint edge and a Kelly registered pattern, or you know what a black raven is, this ax this book loses some value. I did enjoy this book, and I don't regret purchasing it one bit. But I just go into the book with those expectations that you're not going to get a whole lot out of this book if you've been into Axis for a while. If you're interested in the book, there is an interview with the author on YouTube, and I will link to that down below. And I also put a link to purchase this book from a couple resources down below. So I hope you get something out of this. Take a look at the book if it's up your alley. And thanks for watching.